out of bed, I, I, I kind of am still sick, so for me to get out of the bed is a big deal. But I kind of wanted to go because of all the stuff with my professor. Like, I don't know. I thought Christians were supposed to have an open mind, and I just want to be reconfirmed of it by my pastor, pretty much. I mean, I've already talked to him about it this week, but. I don't know. It's something I want to talk about. And then hopefully I might go see Julie. I want to say Derek every time. Um, which coming up the 28th will be his death anniversary. And that'll be a bad day. Bad, bad day. Um, I'm going to invest in some Velcro double sided tape for you guys. And I'm going to like sit you guys right here. So just know that uh, messy builds on. And that's a good thing. And yeah, so I just want to say, hey, I'm going to church, and I probably will record church. So there might be a sermon up today. I'm not real sure. There's my papa stand. Get out of the way, gosh. Anyways, I love you. Bye. Hey, so I just got out of church, and I recorded the music part. But I didn't record the sermon because I kind of like to listen and with a camera it's really distracting. So next time I will record the, um, the sermon part. So basically in a nutshell today's sermon was about refuge. And the opening um, you know, about it was pretty awesome I thought. This guy referred to us as a river. system of the weather and I just thought that was really relevant and it definitely can you know symbolize some someone of our lives in general and it's just you know whenever the you get a drought you know you dry up and um, when there's landslides you know your river gets bigger and that means you have a bigger you know hope for Jesus Christ. So I thought that was an amazing opening. Um, other than that, basically he told me a story. He told the whole church a story about David and how when David was seven years old, I think he was seven years old, how they blindfolded him. And when they blindfolded him, he, they took him somewhere and it was dark. Regardless of the blindfold, it was dark where he got to be. You know, all night he heard cricks and cracks, you know, and just thinking that it was some wild bear or something that was going to hurt him. And, um, so, you know, he's sitting there through the day, I mean, through the night, and then he finally realizes, you know, day daytime starts coming, and so, you know, he can start to see. And he sees this warrior type looking person and this warrior is sitting out by this tree waiting for anything to come at him and it ended up being David's father so it's kind of like God you don't know that he's there but he's there protecting you and I just thought that was really really awesome I mean metaphorically and everything you know someone is there to protect you and regardless of what you're going through even if you don't know he's there he is and it was just an amazing story and I really enjoyed it so um I don't know I'm about to be a Julie so I will talk to you guys later love you okay so I was just like driving back or leaving Julie's house and I saw these kids like I don't know where like I was just looking on the street and I saw these two kids, and they had a lemonade stand, and it was the cutest thing, so I, like, whipped the truck around, and I got, like, a dollar and change out, and I was like, how much is it? And they were like, 50 cent, and so I was like, um, really? Because, you know, that's pretty cheap for, you know, a lemonade stand, I guess. So I got some lemonade. <laughs> 
but I mean, that's, that's something cute. You don't always see kids, you know, trying to sell lemonade on the street. I mean, in the community that I live in, it should, it should be that way, you know, but it's not, and so that was just really cool. Um, I am now going to go to the dollar store and try and spend some uh, pennies, maybe, to get some Velcro tape because somebody told me that they had it where I live, really close, and I'm going to do it and I'm going to see if it works out. And if it does, then you guys will be really happy because a lot of you don't like the fact that I vlog and drive. And so if I get the Velcro tape, okay, if I get it and it works, then I will make a don't vlog and drive t-shirt. Uh, and so I've got my first order, which I told you guys yesterday. I'm getting a second order Monday, which is pretty awesome. So thank you so much. Um, and you know, these shirts are for all types of people. I mean, there's different symbols, different colors, different, you know, for females, males, and all kinds of sizes go up to extra large, it doesn't matter you know, what type of person you are, you will love the shirts that I have in the store. Um, I'm going to actually work on some today, and I, I just, I hope that you enjoy them very much. Anyways, um, so, another thing I wanted to talk about was my hair. I wear my hair, no, not that kind of hair, um, but my, seriously, my hair, my mom and dad, are sick of seeing my hair change colors every two weeks you know so I dyed it black and I'm letting it grow out now this is gonna look extremely crazy if, by me letting it you know grow out because it's gonna go my natural hair color is brown so it's gonna be like brown black and I miss my long hair so if any of you guys have seen my older videos or you know been with me that You'll, you should know that the long hair suited me a lot better than the short hair, just in my opinion at least. Um, so, I'm going to grow my hair out and not dye it, but I mean, I, I was looking at my older videos and my red hair, I just miss that pink stuff. It was awesome. I really do. Um, and also, I know a lot of you aren't fans of Shane Dawson, but he may be getting the chance to work with Happy Madison, and that is a huge step for YouTube, uh, the YouTube community in general. You know, Fred got his movie, and it's just a big deal. So, um, if you guys want to go support him, you should, because he is a very supportable dude. I mean, he's funny. He really is. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go and listen to music, so I'm not copywriting anything. Okay, so I don't know if this works or not, but you guys are mounted hands-free. Whoop, whoop. Um, there's a wiener dog beside me. Just thought I'd let you guys know. And this is a keychain thing. Oh, mighty, mighty. It's hot. Um, anyways, so, you guys are mounted. I think that is pretty, pretty cool. Um, so, I did one thing. I accomplished getting some Velcro tape. And this has been a want for some time for some of you people um, that watch my videos. It is so hot. Like, it is hot. Oh, it's balls. Balls to you, sir. See, it's at an angle to where I think I need to be like a um, G6, you know what I mean? Don't so fly like a G6. I don't even know if I'm in the frame. So, I'm just, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm in the frame. And, yeah, I'm just going to fix you guys to where you'll stay up there. But you won't. No, we won't. Oh, unless I hit the brakes. There you go. All right, and then you guys fall back. <laughs> I'm gonna evidently have to work on this, but you know, it's still neat. 
damn it. <laughs> oh. oh! Trying to stick it to where it won't do that, but it's hard. I'm bending down just for you guys so you can see me. So, I'll fix that and I'm going home. I'm going to edit my, um, the church music. I didn't do a sermon and I added the church music. Breaks. Oh, now you can see me. <laughs> and I can. Um, so I'm going to edit that. And then I am going to uh, probably vlog some more. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just don't know. Um, so yeah, I love you guys. And I will see you guys when later comes. I'm glad you guys are mounted. I'll try and fix you guys up to having a better hunchback bending over unless I do the brakes oh and then you can see me <laughs> anyways I'll see you guys soon bye Hello. um so Kevin is sleeping so I took the opportunity to um play the playstation so I'm about to play I hope Modern Warfare is in oh, Black Ops guess I must try my best and learn and try and be good at Black Ops even though I really don't want to be good at Black Ops. But I can't find the pink controller so my luck is not that great right now. It's just not that great. Um, so yeah, I have to edit videos and stuff like that but I want to play before he wakes up. Yeah, so I just, I just thought I'd show you or tell you guys what I was doing. I'll let you know the results. Bye. So, I think I fixed the problem. I think. Now, if you guys fall, then I don't know. <laughs> if you guys fall, that won't be a good thing. Um, I think I'm in camera. I think. Um, if not, I'll crouch. Like this. But, um, I don't know. Especially when the brakes go. When I hit the brakes, like, it's a perfect angle. But if I don't hit the brakes, then it's like you're looking down at my crotch. I'm up here, people. I'm up here. I'm trying to fix you. Damn you. Now we're going around a curve, so you might sway a little bit. Sorry for getting car sick. cross on the tree and um, I like it had rained and everything like that so I just decided to go and take a marker and redo what was wrote on it so I, I did that the other day and I would show you but I'm not going back that way I just figured I'd mention it the wind is crazy but it's so freaking hot get to where 
love you. So, I am sitting at a gas station waiting on a friend and just watching people. I think this is the best angle, really, honestly, because I can't figure out where to put you guys without you leaning or falling. Oh god, it's so freaking hot. Like, literally. Vroom, they're such manly men. Um, but yeah, I guess this is where you'll be. Love you. Yes, I know you're not on your stand, but that's just because I have to show you guys something. I'm actually going down the road about the cross I was talking about. So, I'm going to show you guys it. And, like, the stuffed animals, I kind of want to buy new ones, but I don't know if those were sentimental to her or anything like that right now. So, um, but I redid the sign and I think it looks way better. You can totally understand it from the road. You couldn't when I got to it, it would, I mean, the paint was chipped and the marker was just gone, or if it was marker or paint, I'm not real sure, but this is the road, um, and so what happened was they came around this curve after school, and I guess they came around it really fast, and um, the sign is right there, and I'm trying to show you guys so you can see it better without somebody running me in the ass right there. Um, I'm actually going to pull off one second so I can show you guys what it looks like. And I don't get hit in the butt. <laughs> um, but I, I, I spent like probably like 10 minutes out here the other day just doing it because, ow, because people need to know, you know, what happened and stuff like that. But I mean, the curve, I mean, it comes pretty sharp and then it came into this tree. And, um, this is what it says. We will miss you. And Lilas, love you like a sister. And that's from Brittany Ramsey, Jerrica. And so, I mean, you can see that, you know, the rain has made the stuffed animals, you know, bad and whatnot. So, I don't know if I should, you know, get new ones. Or I, I might get a couple and then just, you know, leave those up there. But... That way people can see it from the road because when they don't see it from the road, they don't understand. And yeah, they know that apparently someone died um, at that place or whatever, but they don't really know why or they don't know who. Um, not to say I want to broadcast her death or anything like that, but I mean, a lot of people still miss her in our community. showing respect, which to me it is. So, anyways, um, this is probably it for the vlog. I've got to do editing and, um, uh, I'm gonna work on my readings for my next week, um, uh, for my module three, and that will be on secular, um, secular humanism. That's a different religion. You know, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, so this week was naturalism. I learned a lot about it. Basically, naturalists believe there's no God, there is no ghosts, spirits, demons, um, anything supernatural. There is nothing. Um, all matter is everything is matter. Energy is matter. The way they learn things through knowledge is pretty much by their senses. That's how they believe, and they believe for a human. They believe a human being is to be a human uh, biological machine, and their main concern in life is to, you know, provide for their family, I guess, with a job and, you know, a career and money, and to pass on their genes to further the generations in the future. So that's what I learned about naturalism. And another thing is, like, they think that if it if we've survived what, like, say, if we've survived a tsunami, you know, say, say nobody died in that tsunami and, you know, we survived it, then it's okay. And so, I mean, you can take that in so many different ways because, I mean, a lot of people survived rape, but that doesn't mean it's okay. 
So that, that's just my only part in the whole the naturalism I don't really understand or get. And, you know, of course I'm not going to agree with they don't believe in God because I believe in God. So, anyways, this is going to be it. Um, I love you guys very much and I hope you guys had a fun day with me. And, yeah, there's a chicken in my road. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, bumpy road. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.